Welcome to our lecture online. Now our next example, again we need to make that connection to something that's fairly familiar to us. Here we have the binomial 4 times the square root of x plus 3 quantity squared. That looks a lot like a plus b quantity squared. And you know the answer to this is we take the first term squared plus the last term squared plus twice the product of the two terms to a times b. So we're going to use the same principle over here. So this can be written as the first term squared, so that's 4 times the square root of x quantity squared, plus the last term squared, that would be 3 quantity squared, plus twice the product of the two, that would be 4 times the square root of x times 3. So that's the same general principle as what we've applied over there. Okay, so simplifying this, our first term becomes 4 squared, which is 16, and the square root of x quantity squared is simply x, plus 2 times 4, which is 8, times 3, which is 24, times the square root of x, and then here, 3 squared is simply equal to 9, and it looks like we cannot simplify any further because there's no common terms, so that's the final answer when we multiply that binomial, and that is how it's done.